The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Giants ready to go to work on offense and leading them out, their third-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. The numbers for him from a week ago. 24 carries, 102 yards. They look like a team that really emphasized the running game in the offseason. They were going to build around it. Didn't matter if they were going to run gap scheme, power scheme, whatever. They've got a runner who finds yardage if you give him just a little bit of space. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, these two teams met at MetLife Stadium earlier this year with the Giants winning that one. So they're trying to win here in Philadelphia to capture the season series. Now Saquon Barkley, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Throwing Jones. There's the first NFL catch for Kadarius Toney. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Still nine remaining on second down. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Gain there on the eighth play of the drive. On third down, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And that's what's called being aggressive right there. But I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message. A hey, defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it. And offense, trying to let them know he believes in them as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory. Be aggressive. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Jones throw caught by Tony and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 so they give up the completion there but defensively Charles you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career what's the plan against a guy like this but well, you want to rattle him first and foremost bring some people at him a couple extra guys in the pocket see if he can handle the second thing you want to make him think Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps, and try to make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game, came from all angles, created a lot of illusions and especially just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. 
Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Another try for Barkley. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. Partner, I know we're in a goal to go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, not way. the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Well, here come the Eagles on offense, and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise. Had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there as he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your big, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Eluding the pressure right. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Here's Sanders. The numbers for Sanders last week, 19 carries, 88 yards. And a rushing title's definitely within sight, so the excitement on the offensive side of the football, I mean, they're bouncing off the walls wanting to get out there, but they also understand that they're gonna face some really stacked defenses down the stretch, because they don't want it to happen at their expense. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Oh, he fakes a spike, and he's going to get into the end zone. So the fake spike works, and they score. Jalen Hurts with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on now on the return and a good return able to get out across the 35 to the 36 
As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A handoff to Barkley. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On third down, Barkley. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And just a yard to go here on second down. Here's a give to Barkley. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And this one complete to Smith. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 26. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Barkley. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. First and 10, it's Clement. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Touchdown, Giants! Kenny Galladay, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And he'll have it past 
midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's going to leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. It's Big Vince Williams who made the tackle. These two teams getting a couple of late season tilts this year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 12. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. On second down now, it's Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Yeah, they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. Burns fumbles it, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. A gain of six there on first. From the 16, Jones. He targets Ingram for another grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. Clement, and this will go for five up to the 33. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's a handoff to Clement. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run here with Clement. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Boston Scott deep for Philadelphia. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, and move on to the next series. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play at any down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Blake Martinez, the Giants' leading tackler last year, in to make the stop there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hurt sets up to throw it. Rolling to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. 
A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. On first down, Clement. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guy under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Fletcher Cox, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. The Giants on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and seven. Back to throw. Jones. Now they set up the screen for Clement. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough legs. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions. Live right? conditions. Game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. Second down, back to Sanders. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Throwing his hurts. He'll find the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That time, a six-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pettis now on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. 
Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign him? Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 and the 19. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. This from 36 yards out. And Gano's kick is right through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is incomplete. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. Let's go, Eagles. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. A gain of three, second down. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut, and he goes. That's what's really made him pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Handoff. This is Clement. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now it's second and nine. From the gun, Jones. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete there to Smith. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Again, he'll drop to throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looking to throw, Jones. That's to Galladay, and he's got it. Touchdown, New York. Kenny Galladay with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as his guys are able to regain the lead. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Jones throwing for it. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll get it down here to the 43. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On first down. It's Johnson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. I think you mixed in a few of those, but most of the players are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in his own blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. 
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Carry on Johnson. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Eagles have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. They'll try and run for it with Johnson. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's a really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pettis now on the return. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Jones now on first down. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They'll run on first down. Clement. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. Jones. On third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Jones. Here's Tony on the quick slant. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A run, it's Clement. And he'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's going to go down. Sacked down around the 17. A very costly.
Nicely sacked there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. Gano's kick is good. And that'll tie things up now at 22. So it's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring him level now. I like how you put that in there, that it brings him level, right? Because if you're talking about kicking, bringing that soccer analogy in, I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. 41 yards on the ground for him so far. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Hurts. On the quick slant, here's Fulgham. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. On first down, it's Johnson. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, OK, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they move this all the way. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Now Hurts on the option right. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Hurts. And he's got his man in stride, complete. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see a point in communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. He was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Jones. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get their inside. 
Fletcher Cox in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. A good kick, 49 over, first and 10. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here comes Pettis on the return. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. And he's got Rome. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A big play there on the catch and run. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Back to throw. Jones. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown! Evan Ingram, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. the extra point and that will make this a four-point game scoring summary three-play drive and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants Scott on the return out of the end zone and they'll start this drive here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession and they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. To throw again on second down. Hurts. The Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. He's had success running the football. And this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Hertz gets this to Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. That time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. I thought they were gonna sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he get a little bit extra, really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. They're looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short at the line to gain. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. And now the rookie's free. Pass the 20. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. 74 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On the run, it's Penny. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Here's Jones off the play fake to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And they'll run for it with Barkley, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Giants are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point try good by Godot. And that pushes the lead up to 11. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times? And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the Giants will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. On second down, here's Barkley, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week.